My name is Shane Sandiford and I am a youth coach and mentor. Um, I've been a youth, youth worker for almost 20 years. Um, started when I was 17 and have been yeah, doing youth work ever since. Um, I enjoy working with young people because I like to be a part of people's process. Um, I like to help people figure things out um, about themselves and about their journey. Um, and I don't think there's anyone better than, you know, the future generation. Um, I work, currently work for a company called Sport & Thought. I've been very new to working with them, um, but they're a, an amazing, amazing company um, that work with young people. Um, in secondary schools and primary schools um, and they work using the medium of sport to engage young people who are either on the verge of being excluded or having some behavioural difficulties in school and they just we use sport to engage them and kind of help them to process their, their thoughts um, and help them to kind of understand the reason they do or behave the way they are behaving by using sports. Um, my sport is basketball. I've been a basketball player for a very long time. Um, and so using basketball, I'm able to kind of coach life skills through, through the medium of basketball. Um, I'm also starting up my own, my own practice, um, which is gonna be named I Am Youth Coaching. Um, and it's just very much based on the I am statements and kind of encouraging young people to see, you know, see the positiveness that, that lives within them. And, um, you know, using the I am kind of statements kind of really solidifies, you know, if, if you, it kind of tells you, you know, it, it, it solidifies who you are, you know. So what it is is about building positive identities with young people through I am statements. Um, and encouraging young people through dynamic play, um, mindful practices, and um, creating, creating an environment of nurture um, so that young people can, you know, really develop their, their, their sense of self and their sense of self-worth. Um, so that is, that's hoping, I'm hoping to, to, to start that and I will be looking to work with young people, primary and secondary, um working across a range of things providing in schools providing services in schools and privately to parents um and hopefully be able to kind of get into youth work um youth clubs and youth work settings um my aim is to kind of provide services such as one-to-one -one mentoring and coaching um exercise and kind of well-being type stuff and um what i call a circle um, where young people will be given the opportunity and the platform to share in a safe environment and really just be vulnerable and kind of find strength in their vulnerability um, learn some of these mindful practices that will kind of allow them to be in touch with their feelings and their emotions and just really kind of encourage that with young people so that you know we're moving forward they're able to kind of process and respond rather than react to certain situations um so yeah like i say i'm hoping to get that up and up and running very soon um and i will be kind of yeah just kind of offering it to schools like i say schools um youth work settings um and going through the likes of the local authority to be able to kind of um yeah work with young people like i say from primary to secondary school so i mean what i've really kind of noticed i mean i've worked in a few schools and every school is different um, you have some schools, like my current school, um, very supportive of what we do and want to embrace and kind of 
take on board what we're saying about the young people. Though they, though they teach the young people and they've known the young people, some of the young people for longer, they take on board what we're saying. And they're willing to work with us to kind of, for them, it's all about the, the young person. It's all about the child. Um, and I've worked in some schools where it is very much that you're not part of our team. You're not part of the staff team. You're an external company. You come in, you listen to us, you do as we say, and then you, you leave. You're not involved in the school. Um, and that's very difficult, you know, as you know, you want to kind of, I've, I've, over the years, having worked in a lot of schools, um, find it so much easier when you have the support of the staff. Um, like some classes, I mean, like in the current school I'm working with, you know, you go into some classes and the teachers feel that, you, you know, it, they feel that you're treading on their toes, you know, and they'll ask us, they'll ask the behaviour coaches to leave. Um, the classroom if they feel they have everything under control whereas other teachers are very kind of like receptive of us and kind of want us to be engaged and are just thankful for the support um so you know it's it's i think what i'm learning is about the individuals the indiv so like in in the current school that i'm working in um it's the individual what about the individual teacher and if you can kind of approach the teacher and kind of build that relationship from the beginning then when you go into classes you know they're able to they know your skills they know who who best you kind of sit with or you know how you'd engage and how you can support them teaching their lesson um and i try and do that with every every teacher that i come into contact with and some are very like i say some are very receptive and others are just like oh no well i don't need you or can you just stay at the back of the classroom um which you know can be difficult because you know I can see where I can intervene but I have to kind of hold back and be like no I have to respect what the teachers just so I can try and build out the relationship with them um, but like I say there are some schools where you go in and the whole staff team are very much kind of like us and them and um, it's very difficult to kind of kind of really hone in on the, the needs of the young people and the needs of the children so it gets lost in that kind of i want to say animosity um you know so us we're trying to like i'll try and go and support but it's rejected from every every layer of the and it's weird because the, you know they bring you into the school that's the thing you know they bring you into the school but yet there's this this huge divide um and it's just yeah it's just very hard you know and like i say the young person's in, interest and and well-being gets lost in in this this rivalry which is quite frustrating i'd like to see more of is yeah this this idea of community uh the concept seems to be eluding us slightly um at the moment um you know the world is is a little bit a little bit i speak for myself when i say that i feel the world's gone slightly crazy um and there's this from what i can understand from what i see um there just seems to be this kind of very much like isolation it's, it's all about kind of keeping yourself to yourself um protecting you first you know you know when you're on a plane and it says you know you put your mask on first before you put on anybody else's mask it's kind of like like that um i can't operate like that you know i i feel like you know we have to look after each other you know, I, I believe that the world was created by communities, by tribes, you know, civilization, you know, it was all about communities coming together, having their own little cultures, their traditions, and then, you know, just spilling out. And, you know, this concept of community just got bigger and bigger and bigger. So I feel that the world's kind of going away from that. Um, and I feel that the sooner we come back to the idea of community, the, the, come back to the idea of supporting each other, I think the further we'll go as a as a as a race as a human race